What's up guys, Matthew Moss from Dallas, and today we've got Primetime Van Ziggler with Earthwolf 130 EDS, I believe it's 130, and Meteo El Drago 100 WD. So, I'm going to watch him in Meteo, because he spins spells. <laughs> So, GD Donald Bill and Ryu Ken lost, but the King of Nostalgia just won. So this is the last uh, last member of the Note again. If he loses, then three out of the four will be knocked out. I assume I'm not missing any other members. I'm excited and scared for my battle because I do not like my matchup with XF. I hate that I'm facing XF. XF, Arc Squared F are the two I didn't want to face, but I'd be down to face Destroyer because he's off your face. Does EDS work like EWD? I know EWD can counter spin stealing. At least sometimes. Um, I don't know if EDS is the same though. It's an eternal chip, it's just not as an internal wide defense, it's eternal defense sharp. We'll see here though. No. The answer is no. I'm going to redo that because I didn't have the old driver launcher right now. I do use um, a modded launcher in the left rotation maze. That is because I don't have a string or I don't like the string launcher as much for it. Um, the string launcher, half the time, it feels, it's not like bad or anything. It's a little squeaky. It's not bad. It's just it feels like things fall off of it a little bit quickly. So that's why I'm using. Um, a model launcher to help balance it out. Also, for what it's worth, if a bay let me just download it. If a bay bounces off my um, bed here, which you can see, where's my finger compared to? There you go, here, and comes back in. That is totally um, not a stadium out. It's always been. I'm not now. If it hits a light, that's one thing. You know, right at the edge of the stadium, blocking it from going out. But if it bounces out of the stadium and somehow comes back in. I've always been of the um, opinion that that is a, um, that is, you know, battle still goes on. Meteo got him. Meteo got him just barely. But, I'm gonna do it again because it was really close. I'm not 100% sure. But I think Meteo barely got him. This is gonna be a long one. We're already doing this. Okay. Uh, would want to talk about uh, have a conversation topic for you guys. Uh, I guess around the time this comes up, my channel anniversary is the 11th. Pretty exciting. Yeah. I've got plans. I've got plans. Eight years. I've been on YouTube since 2013. Over a third of my life, which is pretty insane to think about. I'm glad Mr. Fresh is facing an attack bay next if he wins, because I do not want to see a bunch of tornadoes. I do not want to see this. Um, Wolf did actually pretty well there. I was kind of wondering, you know, is he going to be too tall? You know, especially if Wolf starts to destabilize a bit, is he going to not be able to get good spin stealing off of him? And I think that was why the last time, because El Drago started to really go off balance too. That was a dead time. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go check and make a mental note. I'm gonna go check the other battle and see who did win. Um, because yeah, if I was right in Medio one, then I need to give that to Medio officially. Okay, I can only look at so much through my phone camera. Um, but I was able to find a point, you know, where I could click it, and Earth Wolf was in the same position, and Medio moved a rotation, so. I was right, my eyes were right, Meteo did win, it is 2-0, Meteo. That last battle was a tie. I'm not even looking back at that, that was a dead tie. I lost the wrong vein first. As I switched. This was a really bad match, well, and actually, if you're not an attack bay, you have a bad match against Meteo. That's just how it is. Oh, 
I, I, I was, you know, want to say, you know, that was really close, but, you know, I'm, it did look like Medio won. And that is not fair to Medio if I uh, don't give him the win when he did have it. I also didn't want to see a thousand, you know, this battle over and over again. If they're going to time multiple times. But Medio did get that second battle. The last one was a tie. I did not check that. I could tell that was fine. And there's no way I was going to be able to see that on my phone. It's very hard to do it because I can't do a good, like, slow motion, you know, like, frame by frame. On it. And I'm not putting this on my computer or waiting a day to do that. I would like to do my art tomorrow. I think Wolf got him. I think Wolf got him. Though. At least Wolf was faster at the very end. Which might have tricked my eyes. I'm gonna give it to Wolf. I think Wolf got him. Sorry if I'm very inaccurate with this battle. It's hard to be fully accurate. Because you're really just, you know, using your eyes. <laughs> and a lot of these are close. Though the first one won. So two to one. Mr. Fresh and Meteor Drag goes up by one. If this stays like this, Meteor's going to Medio loses by either destabilizing a bit, or Wolf being destabilized, and not being able to make good contact. But if they stay like this, not going off balance, Medio is 100% going to spin steal the victory. This is the one time where you kind of want to be a bit off balance if you're Wolf. Because you can block it from getting great contact. Because you're taller than it, by a good amount. Because of EDS. And you're above it because it's staying more in the middle. So if you start to go off balance and he starts to get slightly under you, he's not getting a direct hit. He can, Medio can spin still off 230 because he gets just direct hits off the spin track. But you're not getting under, you know, what's on that ball? Let's see. That was Medio, that was Medio for sure. So, Mr. Fresh is going to move on and he will be facing um, Mr. Weeklaw 8 with Gravity Destroyer. Next though, next bracket. This quadrant is Crucius El Drago, uh, Striker, and Aquario. This will be fun. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the last two battles.